This week on Retail Edge, we're lucky enough to have Brandon Adams, the founder of Arctic Stick, and also do, you do a regular podcast called The University of Young Entrepreneurs. Welcome, glad you're here. Hey, thanks for having me on the show, I'm excited. Tell us a little bit about your background and what you're doing. Well, background, I'm a full-time entrepreneur. I was born and raised in uh, Garneville, Iowa. I grew up in a family ice business. My dad sold ice for a living, believe it or not. So it was one day that kind of changed my life. I was on ice route and I had a bottle of beverage and most of you have that aha moment. Well, my drink got warm and I'm like, what can I do to keep this colder longer? I could put ice cubes in, but it's time consuming. It doesn't work very well. Well, I came up with a concept called the Arctic stick. And what you do is you fill the Arctic stick full of your desired liquid. You close it, you freeze it, you take it out of the freezer. If you want to cool your drink, you drop it in, keeps it colder longer. If you want to flavor it, you twist, drop in, you get a flavor burst. And not only that, from developing, we found out that it's a great way for doing for energy shots sure. or for doing like an alcohol shooter. But I took that to Iowa State University, one class competition, yeah. and from there, success story after another, Very I just cool. kept going with it. Very cool, and you've had some decent coverage and different things, but you probably learned a heck of a lot about product development, right? Wow, did I learn a lot, and that's uh, the past three years, I've learned about product development and crowdfunding was yeah. a big one. So what I found out, other consumer product companies out there, financing, money yep. is hard. So, so make, make that sort of relatable for the typical consumer packaged goods supplier. How can yeah. they use things like Kickstarter to be successful in a new product launch? Okay, so in today's world, things are changing. And with crowdfunding, honestly, it's gonna change how we do everything, how we launch a product. So you have your two routes. You have licensing, right. and then you have manufacturing. Sure. So now the first route you should take is what I suggest is do crowdfunding. So if people don't know what crowdfunding is, crowdfunding is a platform where you can raise money, you don't have to give any equity up, right. raise money for your idea, whatever it is, usually like a consumer product, sure. and uh, have people back it, pre-order it, and use that money to support your venture. So you do a crowdfunding campaign, you raise money, and for the manufacturing route, that money can pay for your tooling right. and anything else right. for doing your company. Right. If you're gonna do a licensing route, then it can give you the track record sure. and you can show that to a big company and say, hey, Walmart or whoever and say, hey, we have a track record. Would you license the product? So that's a, that's kind of the startup route. But for a bigger company that wants to do a new product introdu introduction, why would, why would crowdfunding and Kickstarter be a good so route? So this is a big thing with this. Uh, I just traveled on my podcast tour. I went out to Columbus, Ohio, uh -huh. and I interviewed Chris Hawker. He's famous inventor, invented million dollar products. He has a company called Trident Design. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they focus on doing crowdfunding campaigns. And some of them that people will know, they did the crowdfunding campaign called uh, the Carbon Flyer. Okay. So it's basically a app on your phone and you have this plane flying around. Sure. Fly a plane around, they raise over 300,000. Did a quick key, raise over 200,000. And the one that most people know about is the coolest cooler. They redesigned the cooler, right? and that was, until a month ago, the largest crowdfunding campaign in history. It raised wow. $13.2 And for companies that don't necessarily need the money, what they are doing is validating whether or not the concept is going to have acceptance, whether or not people are yes. really interested. So it's, an, it's a more efficient way maybe than focus groups so to get that So in this where it right? goes, the interesting part about that, Jeff, is so that quick key that raised over 200000 Sure. he had a company come to him and say, hey, I want to license your product. Right. They licensed, had a great licensing deal, sent it out. Yeah. So how you can relate that to a big company, big companies spend millions of dollars sure. to bring out a new product, roll it out, and see if it's going to work. Mm -hmm. Well, the big companies are going to start going and doing these crowdfunding campaigns right. and getting market feedback. And if it fails, what are they out? $50,000 if most. And if they, if it if succeeds, they succeed, then they can go fast, hill. right? Yeah, makes a lot of sense, makes a lot of sense. You've done some other things that aren't directly tied to the product. This idea of, of Jay Bear has sort of pioneered this idea of smart marketing by being helpful first rather yeah. than selling. You know, he wrote this, this book called Utility, which is Great really, book. really yeah. a pretty good read. What are some things that you've done that kind of play to this approach that would be really useful for a supplier, yeah. consumer packaged goods company to take yeah. note of? Well, I do say this, if you're traveling from Des Moines to Arkansas, I listened to the whole book the other day. Right, it's a great right. book. But if people aren't taking the utility approach to marketing, they're falling behind. So basically what re utility is, is you need to give out more free value. You need to give out information to your consumers and the, your potential customers 
at no cost. So that's and, the University of Young Entrepreneurs, yeah, right? Yeah, so what I do with that is I got a podcast every Tuesday, Thursday right. at 6 p.m. Central Time. It's University of Young Entrepreneurs. You can find it at brandtadams.com or go on iTunes. But what I do is I travel the country. I interview the most successful entrepreneurs this world has to offer and give them insight on manufacturing, right. crowdfunding, product development, everything. And what this does is not only I'm inspiring millions of people, right. but what it's doing is I'm gaining authority in the market, just like Jay Becoming Paris a says, thought leader, right? A Somebody thought that's leader. helpful, yeah. And people are coming to me nonstop asking for advice. So Very what cool. you do in return is whatever you have to sell, you sell it through that outlet. Right, right, so focus on being helpful first and selling second. Exactly. Tremendous insights, really good information. Best of luck with Arctic Stick. Thank you. You're gonna to have to come back in about a year and tell us how hey, it all I'd went. Hey, I'd love to. I appreciate it. Thanks coming for coming on, on today. Thanks, really Jeff. appreciate it. It's fantastic. Coming up next will be the remainder of Saturday morning meeting for suppliers.